Hey guys, another late night vlog in the game room. And I wanted to show you guys more of my uncommon or rare, not really, um, kind of cool items I have in my game room. So let's kind of go around and look for more of my uncommon stuff in my collection. I don't have a massive collection, but I do have a couple cool games and consoles and stuff. So let's start down here and I don't know if I'm sure everybody's seen this, but this is the Orange Spice GameCube. That's a little bit more common because it was Japanese, but the color is really awesome. Yeah, I don't have any Japanese games to play on it, but uh, just had to have this in my collection because the color. And I think this is a little bit uncommon uh, to see is the Turquoise uh, Blue Wii. A lot of people have the white Wii or even the black one, but I think the Turquoise one is a little bit more uncommon. And for sure, my most uncommon N64 is either going to be this gold N64, which I've shown off like a hundred times, or obviously the Pikachu one. And the Pikachu one is really awesome because when you turn this on, his cheeks light up red, which is really cool. Also, the red Wii is really cool. I like that Wii. It's not super uncommon or anything, but I think it's a cool touch. Platinum GameCube. Down here I have the, it's like a silver PS2 Slim. That's a little bit more uncommon because a lot of people had the black one. And I love this color on the Dreamcast. It's so amazing because the regular um, Dreamcast came like in a gray color, but this black is really awesome. So yeah, those are some kind of uncommon consoles I have. All right, guys, so from this first shelf, I pulled out a couple of items over here. This is a monstrosity of a game. I found this at a flea market, and if I zoom in really close, it supposedly has, like, all these games on here, I guess. But, yeah, I've never actually got it to work. I've tried cleaning the pins and just, uh, you know, different NESs. I uh, pulled this out for obvious reasons. It's more of a valuable game. A lot of people want this in their Super Nintendo collection, and I don't blame them. It's a it's a great game. This is the gold. The color's kind of fading, but you can see this is the gold uh, Ocarina of Time on N64. Uh, it originally came out, and it was, like, gray, just like any other N64 cartridge, but some of the more, like, uh, I guess, special editions came in this gold color. So I don't know if a lot of you guys are familiar with the Super Game Boy. It allows you to play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo. So for my younger viewers that probably didn't know that, I mean, it's really cool. You just pop this right into your Super Nintendo, and, yeah, it's you could full-screen Game Boy games. It's amazing, so... This is, I'm happy to have this in my collection too, so. All right guys, so I pulled a couple games from my Nintendo shelf over here, and here they are. Let me show you the first game. is Game & Wario. I'm actually not too familiar with this game, but my cousin uh, hooked it up for me, and thank you for that again. But yeah, this game easily goes over $100. And then this is interesting. This is close to $100 as well. Um, it is Zelda Twilight Princess HD, so I'm assuming it's like an HD version of uh, the original Wii game, but here on Wii U. This is F-Zero GX. I'm a big fan of the F-Zero series. I love Captain Falcon, and yeah, this game is, is going for a couple bucks as well, and this is not an official uh, cover art. I had to order a repro from eBay, um, but I just slipped it in a, a regular GameCube case. So it's not complete or anything, but I'm happy just to have the disc, honestly. Let's move on to uh, the PlayStation stuff over there. Let me see what I can pull out for you guys. All right, guys. So here are a couple games I pulled from my collection. So let's start up here. And this is Um Jammer Lammy. So if you know anything about the Parappa the Rapper series, uh, this is definitely like a spinoff game. It's like a rhythm-based game, but I guess it's, it's mostly about Lammy. I haven't played this game in years, but... Wanted to show you that one. Kind of uncommon. Bloody Roar 2. This game is cool because it's like a fighting game, but you're like animals. So you're like people, but then you can like go into like animal mode and start fighting. It's pretty interesting. Uh, let me pull this up. It's kind of heavy. This is the box set. The Metal, Metal Gear Solid The Essential Collection. And it has all these original Metal Gear games in it, all in one box. So I think because it's all boxed together, it's worth a little bit, has a little bit of value. Then we have Manhunt and Manhunt 2. 
These games are really awesome. They're very gruesome. I think they were even like banned in a couple of countries or something, but these games are really cool to have. They're made by Rockstar too, so you know it's gonna be awesome. <laughs> then we have Final Fantasy. I just pulled it out for the lulls. Everybody knows this game, but yeah, you gotta have that in your collection for sure. Um, I don't have many Dreamcast games, but Sonic Adventure, when I was a kid, I would play this all the time. And this one is not in great condition, but definitely a, a, a fun game that, that I think everybody should have in their Dreamcast collection. Grand Theft Auto Vice City Stories. I'm not sure why this game is, I think it's worth like 50 bucks or something. I think it has, uh, I've never played it and I think it has a different uh, protagonist in it, but I think it's just side stories of what happened in Vice City and stuff. But yeah, a lot of people seem to like that game. Parappa the Rapper 2. Unfortunately, I don't have the first Parappa, but I do have number two. And this game was funny. It's it's mainly like based, it's a rhythm game, but it, the whole story is weird. It's like about noodles or like Raymond noodles or something. It's, it's pretty funny. Then we have Ape Escape 2. I know a lot of you guys enjoy Ape, Ape Escape 1. So they made Ape Escape 2, Ape Escape 3. Um, but I do have two. Unfortunately, this one's not complete, but I will hopefully get a manual one day. This game's not very valuable, but I wanted to throw it in here. It's called Naughty Bear. You're a bear and you go and you're like killing other bears and, at like birthday parties. And, like the whole thing is you're like an angry bear and you're like, nobody likes you or something. So you're just like cutting their heads off. It's, it's ridiculous. It's funny. And like all the stuffing flows out of the bear. It's, it's, it's funny. And this game as well, it's not super valuable, but I think it's funny because it is part of the Dead or Alive series. So it's like all the girls in a volleyball game. So I'm kind of happy to have this game. I feel like it's a little bit uncommon. Not everybody has this game on Xbox. So yeah, I just wanted to pull a couple different games out for you guys. And I'm sure I missed a ton of games, but like I said, this is just like a quick vlog. So I'm just like pulling games really quick off the shelf. I'm sure I missed a bunch. But hopefully soon I'm going to do a full game room tour. So if you guys want to see that, be sure to leave that in the comments. Till next time, guys, this is Game Plug. Peace.